Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode in my series of Link to the Past tutorial videos uh, that Willow will probably never watch. Today we're covering Heropot with our loyal protagonist, the Bird Fruit. So what is Heropot? Well, basically what we want to do is we want to clip into this pot to the left of my Bird Fruit. Uh, and we can do that by using a bomb jump. Or not a bomb jump, a bomb knockback. Um, like so. And then switching to the hookshot, turning around, and hookshotting in turning left, and moving out. Now what this will do for us is it will, first of all, give us some fairies, uh, which, you know, useful if you need them. And then it will take us to the second to top floor of Tower of Hera. Um, notably what this does is it skips the big key door. Um, so you can get up here without the big key. Uh, obviously this is most useful in key sanity, um, but it's also useful if you have a vanilla big key, uh, or if you're playing vanilla for that matter. Um, but yeah, so then you can go directly to fight Moldorm, boop, or, uh, depending on your items and what you need, you can also drop down and collect, you know, your item here. Uh, you cannot collect the big chest if you don't have the big key, um, which is the one potential downside of skipping the big key if it's vanilla. Uh, it does save you needing the lamp, and it will save you a lot of time of going through the tile room. Uh, but you will not be able to get the big chest, obviously, if you don't have the big key. Um, so how do you do Heropot? Well, I'm glad you asked. You didn't ask. You know, I'm telling you anyway. Um, oops. So there's a couple different setups for it. Uh, the one I am most familiar with, uh, involves this Moldorm being dead. Um, now it's important to note, if this Moldorm drops an item, wait until the item is on the ground before you pick it up, or don't pick it up at all. Uh, if you do not, it will mess up your bomb jump, or your, your bomb knockback. Why? Reasons. Um, it's like the, 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 um, the memory that's saving the altitude of the item drop is the same one that does something to do with bomb knockbacks. Uh, so if you pick it up too early, or if it drops a fairy, um, you'll have to probably go upstairs and come back down. Or go downstairs and come back up, either way. Uh, but reloading the super tile should fix it. Uh, there is a setup that involves using spin speed and the boots. Um, I'm not sure I know that one, or I'm sure I don't know that one, rather. Um, but uh, I, I prefer to just use the bomb setup anyway, because you're pretty much always going to have bombs. Uh, and actually, if you don't have bombs, you can go up to uh, on the next floor. The left pot in this room uh, will always have a bomb. Well, the first time you pick it up in any given seed. Um, so that can be a way to get a bomb if you need a bomb. And obviously, if you need more than one bomb, you can exit here and come back in and repeat, but that's obviously slow and less than ideal. Um, so the way that I'm familiar with doing it is we get into this position, uh, 8F61. Um, you'll notice the... Uh, Position listed up in the top right of the screen. Uh, I'm using the 14.2.2 uh, practice attack. Um, the randomizer version. Um, so in this position, uh, you want to hold your sword out, drop a bomb, and then move up to position 8F5A. And then the bomb will knock you over this way. Now what you want to do is you want to turn around without moving. Uh, and if you have the boots, you can do that by pressing boots but not holding it long enough to dash and then turning. So a dash turn, basically. Then use the hook shot, and you're good. Well, not quite. If you can press, there's, there's a way to do it directly with a diagonal. Uh, I prefer not to do that. I always tap left and then up. Uh, but if you just tap up, I believe you will get stuck. And that's not ideal. Uh, so how do I line this up? Well, obviously you can use whatever you want. Uh, it might depend on your sprite, might not. Um, I typically look at the shadow because the shadow is the same for all sprites. And the way I do it is I look at... Um, so the left side of my shadow um, is one pixel into that two pixel uh, border uh, between squares on the tile floor. My Y position, there is a, um, a little square of darker pixels in the tile to my bottom right. Uh, I look for the bottom of my shadow to be aligned with that. Uh, if you do this, uh, I believe you can do this one pixel higher or lower, 
Uh, but if you do, it will correspondingly change the position you need to be in for the next step. Uh, so I just always try to live line for this this position. Uh, so you place the bomb, and then you want to get to the position where your shadow is um, lined up. So like there's the two pixels on the very right part of the shadow. Those two pixels should be vertically aligned with the two pixel border between the tiles. Um, so you can switch to hookshot, dash turn, press up, and then realize you just got yourself stuck. Uh, so that's why you want to tap left first. Oh, can't even can't even mirror. Well, that's a problem. And we're back in Tower of Hera. So now that I've made it back to Tower of Hera, don't do what I just did. I did it specifically to show off what happens. Um, but you know, don't do that if you don't want to get stuck and have to save it quick. Um, you may be asking, well, in order to do a dash turn, you need to have the boots. Um, but what if I don't have the boots? Um, well, this is the point where if you play in crowd control, you hope chat gives you ice physics, um, which is a very niche uh, application. But if you do happen to have ice physics, um, you can turn around without moving because it takes a little bit to get the traction up. Uh, but assuming you don't have ice physics and you don't have the boots, um, you can either do the same thing, um, line up in the position, and then move up and face right and back a pixel and somehow organize it. I, I, I didn't ever bother with that. So you want to line up on the other direction. Uh, let's see if I can actually do it this time. Uh, same same uh, vertical position. It's a little bit harder to see. Um, so sometimes I line up on the block that I've been using over there and then back up to it or move forward to it, turn around. Uh, as long as you just keep your vertical position the same, you can turn around, of course. Uh, drop a bomb, and then you want to get to position where your same vertical alignment as before, uh, but you have one pixel between the uh, one pixel between the end of your shadow and the dark blue line. Uh, obviously, I did not get it that time. But basically, this this position is where you want to be uh, when the bomb goes off. Obviously, this is a little bit trickier to set up because you need to figure out both vertical and horizontal positions after you drop the bomb. I think I'm one pixel too high. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, I can do this. Oh, I'm trying to get... There we go. And then as for your horizontal position, you want to have one pixel over the uh, dark blue line on, on the front that goes up to the key door. That might be it. Yeah. And then tap left, tap up, and we're in. Grab a fairy for good measure. And we're up. You can say hello to everybody's favorite, Moldorm. I'm not going to actually go fight Moldorm right now. Okay, so let me just demonstrate what happens if you... Come on, give me a drop. Okay, so I picked that up in the middle uh, with all those in the air. So now I'm going to just demonstrate how that can really mess things up. So I'm in my normal position for the boot setup. I line up perfectly. And suddenly we get knocked all the way over there. Oh, that doesn't help. Uh, obviously, we can't hook shot into the pot if we're completely south of the pot. Uh, so just be aware, uh, if that Moldorm... If you kill the Moldorm, and the Moldorm drops something, wait till it's completely on the ground uh, before you pick it up. If it drops a fairy, you're probably going to have to reload this, uh, the super tile no matter what. So just to refresh, um, boot setup, uh, line up uh, left side of your shadow um, in the line of the border uh, just to the right of the key door. Uh, horizontal, lined up with that square about uh, two-fifths of the way up on the left side of inside the tile, drop a bomb, hold, hold your sword out, move up so that you are lined up with uh, the border. Your shadow is centered on the border. Switch to hookshot, dash turn, hookshot, tap left, tap up. Boom, easy mode. If you don't have the boots, well, let's see if I can do this first try. Um, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna let the Moldorm live. Uh, actually, no. Molar. Okay, blue, blue, blue rupees on the ground, we're good. So I want to be... Actually, let me get my vertical position first. Uh, so I want to be vertically, same alignment, horizontally, 
uh, one pixel to the right of the shadow, uh, one, one shadow, one pixel to the right of the border. Drop a bomb, move up, move over. Relish the fact that I got it first try, and that will probably never happen again. Anyway, that has been Heronpot, and this has been your host, The Bird Fruit, with the Bird Fruit Sprite. Now available on ALTTBR.com. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bird Fruit out.